we are so powerful. You are you 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 are so powerful that you don't even realize what you have. I mean, you have the ability to shape worlds. Repeat that. You are so powerful that you have the ability to shape and create worlds. Physical. You can use your mind and your thoughts and your emotion and you can actually change physical dimension to our physical structures in your world. Your body is composed 70% water. That water is electrified. Your cells conduct electricity. You are constantly emitting magnetism, vibration. A matter of fact, your heart creates a magnetic field. You actually, you actually have a magnetic field around you that extends six feet from your heart. Repeat that. You actually have a magnetic field that extends six feet from your heart. You are radiating energy at all times. So you are this like light body of energy. You literally have the power to shape your world. So what stops you or what what limits your own power is this, this facade they gave you. They give you this uh, avatar. So they give you a name, John, Mark. They give you an age. They give you a personality. They give you what you're good at and not. That's what stops you. And so while they're giving you that, you're, you have a conscious mind now. The conscious mind now starts to adopt that, those beliefs. And that, because that forms your ego. So now your ego knows your name. It knows what you're good at. It knows what you're not. And it knows your age, whatever the fake stuff they give you. And so you go around your whole life um, identifying as that. And because you identify as that, you become limited now because you're not connected to the light force anymore. See, once you identify that, you cut yourself off because your focus isn't on that. For many, for, first of all, many people don't even know they are that. So they focus on the ego. So now, it's, let me put it to you that like, it's like you you are 100% powerful, right? So you have 100% power right now that you can ship, shape worlds, you can create anything. But your ego turns off, turns it off. So you take you go from 100% to 10%. Let that sink in. Once you identify with who you are, like the name and all stuff they give you, you shrink down. You can only use 10% of your power. 90% of your power now is dormant, is sleeping. You can't activate it because you've identified with the religion they gave you, the name they gave you, the stuff your parents believe. You, you that, That's a part of you. And all of that is in a 3D construct. In order for you to manifest or create what you want, you cannot do it from 3D. Although you exist in 3D, you have to go outside and then bring it in 3D because you, we see the world through 3D. So... If you're trying to create in 3D, that's why you're going to struggle. The people who realize who they are, they create outside of the 3D world, and then they bring their creation into the 3D world because we observe and we see life as three-dimensional. So the ones who identify themselves and know their higher selves and know what the God is and know how the stuff works, understands their mind, they go into the five dimension. They go even higher dimension, and they become enlightened. And what they do is they see stuff they desire from the etheric part, and then once they see it and they decide what they want, they bring it in, and then it manifests as a 3D object or situation or thing. Do you see how that works? So many of us, we are creating from 3D. This is why you see struggle, and this is why it's so difficult. This is why you will get, like, some good results, and then you fall back down, and that's why you get, like, emotional damage and baggage and all of this stuff because you're fighting a 3D construct with willpower. And in reality, you have to just go outside of that dimension and then you bring everything into you and then everything like miracle appears. Remember I just showed you how the timelines work, right? That things should literally appear because they're stacked on each other. You just have to get into that timeline. And yes, Meditation is a part of it to get into the timeline. You have to meditate. Meditation will always escape the 3D world. So something I want you to remember is you cannot create, you can create in the 3D, but it takes force, push, 
willpower, and you get very limited results. And not only you get limited results, but the results you get aren't lasting. If you want to be a true deliberate creator and master this stuff, you have to go outside of the 3D dimension. You have to go into the four, five dimension and up because that's where everything truly is. And then you bring that in as your 3D reality. The key for you to get out of the 3D world is your imagination. Let's talk about imagination. When we say imagination, does it have, does it carry weight? No. I'm going to show you. I'm going to teach you something deep here. When we say imagination, what do we associate imagination with? Kids. When you think of kids, what do you think of kids as? They're just, they don't know any better. They're just having fun. They're illogical. They're, they're using their imagination. They're playful. That was programmed into you. But the truth is, imagination is the biggest weapon to free yourself. Imagination is the secret to your success. That's why they make imagination, they belittle it because they really don't want you to activate that power, man. I gotta wake up, man. This is why when you hear the word imagination, you don't put any big you don't put any big emphasis on it. You just think of your kids. You think of like, oh, use your imagination. All right. They deliberately program the that meaning to belittle it down, but yet imagination is the most powerful energetic force that creates worlds. If you don't have imagination, nothing can exist. How do you think the matrix was created? Imagination, the same thing they, they, they're putting now, they use it to create the stuff. How do you think a car was created? How do you think a house was created? Someone's imagination. And if they store it right in front of your face and yet you don't even see it, they still you still belittle it. Every single thing that you can conceive, this, the, the, this bottle I'm touching, it was created through an imagination. The car I'm sitting in. Every single object, inanimate object, was in was once in the mind of a someone's imagination. <laughs>